Hello everybody, welcome to Just Upright. My name is Doc Jing Ruder. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I am your foreign educated physical therapist guide to US application. I hope you guys are doing great. So what we're going to talk about today is very important among foreign educated physical therapists. It is how to pass the TOEFL, okay? So disclaimer, I am not an English teacher teacher you know um, I happen to be a foreign educated physical therapist who actually failed the first time I took the TOEFL okay so back then it's not yet the TOEFL IBT back then it's TSE and TOEFL so uh, test of uh, speaking English and then uh, separate is the reading writing and listening okay so when I did my first TOEFL uh, to be honest with you I was so arrogant uh, because uh, you know with me are people in various ages and some of them were a lot older than I am and in my mind back then I was like if they are taking it surely I will be able to pass it and then uh, you know I rattled uh, through the um, the tests you know and I I got the result a few days after and I failed and I cried my eyes out and I couldn't believe I failed but I was I was very proud I was thinking I can do it and I can do it uh, with flying colors but I did not okay so lesson learned is do not be arrogant uh, do not underestimate the TOEFL okay if you're a foreign educated uh, uh, physical therapist if you do not speak the language if you don't speak English on a daily basis um, it's hard okay and TOEFL is not actually uh, a lot of people are failing TOEFL and uh, they take it personally as an insult to their intelligence okay so TOEFL is not a test for intelligence okay TOEFL is a test if you can express yourself uh, in English okay if you can communicate in English okay so most people are failing because it is time pressured okay so it's almost like answering in a beauty pageant question you know you're giving them a question but you only have 30 seconds to answer okay so there are different questions in TOEFL uh, and there are uh, different times that will be given to you the duration that in which you should answer the question okay it can be 30 seconds it can be a minute okay so uh, a lot of people who did not practice did not prepare for TOEFL or even if they prepared they have this nerves that oh my god I, I might fail you know uh, it's so hard to answer straight in English okay um, so when they answer the question and you know you know that it is like time pressure all you can focus is the time is running out and you're not focusing on the question itself and how to deliver it properly okay so don't be disheartened okay there are many people failing TOEFL even though they did so good in school okay so um, TOEFL needs to be practice you know uh, in order for you to uh, uh, pass the TOEFL there are certain preparations okay so that's what we're going to talk about today guys okay the practical tips to pass the TOEFL okay so the first thing is you have to think in English okay so think in English what do I mean by that so if you're watching a movie or if you're watching news and you have a certain opinion on what you're watching instead of thinking your opinion in your own language express it in English okay so even if you're walking outside you know you're uh, running your errands you're in a grocery store and you have an opinion of course you're not expressing it loudly but in your mind you have an opinion about something okay or you want to compliment something uh, just think in English okay if you are preparing for uh, TOEFL you always have to think in 
English, okay? So that is one very important uh, preparation that you can do so that you condition your brain to be exposed in thinking in English, okay? So you will not be culture shocked when you hear the question and when you're expressing or formulating your answer to the question when you are testing for TOEFL, okay? Okay, the second one is record your voice, okay? So first, you can try to find a question online. There are, I, I will put the link down below on the practice test, the free ones uh, that you can practice, okay? So just pick a question and then express your answer without the timer first, okay? So just, uh, for example, you are asked, uh, do you like electric cars and then record your answer okay personally for example you're recording yourself personally i like electric cars you may ask me why my answer will be number one number two number three okay so you have to just uh, record your voice so that you can listen to the quality of your voice and you can listen whether you have a lot of pauses, okay? So uh, do not time yourself first, okay? Just listen, go for the quality of your voice and then later on, time yourself, okay? Whether you can answer a certain question within 30 seconds or a minute or 45 seconds, whatever it is, uh, and see how you do if it is um, under time pressure. Recording your voice is very important because this way you can hear whether you have a lot of pauses like, um, well, mm, you see, uh, what I mean is, uh, so those kind of pauses are not good because number one, uh, it, you're wasting precious time, okay? You might not be able to answer the question within the time given to you if you have a lot of pauses. Number two, uh, pauses show that you do not have the confidence, okay? So when someone is grading your voice, your, your responses, okay, they can hear the confidence in your voice. So you really have to practice a lot. So recording yourself, and um, just crit criticizing your own voice uh, will help you a lot to improve. Do not be afraid of how you sound like because that's how you would learn your weaknesses and you learn from your mistakes and you will learn to be faster in answering, okay? But first, you have to concentrate on the quality of your answer and eliminate as much as possible the pauses in between Word. All right, the third one is as you listen to question as as you listen during the practice test or during TOEFL, okay? Uh, you can ha you have they have paper and pencil I and mean, they will give you paper and pencil. So what uh, helped me a lot during that time is as I listen to question, I jot down keywords, okay? What is the question about? And if I can immediately answer uh, that question, for example, it's electric car. Okay, advantages of electric car. I would put my uh, answers, short keywords for my answers immediately after listening so that when I'm formulating my answer, I can have an outline and I can present my, my answer clearly because I already jotted them down, okay? All right, so number four have a clear format for your answer okay what do i mean by this so i told you that i failed the first time so it hurt my ego so much and so what i did is i did not take another chance without enrolling to a um, program to improve my speaking ability so it, i was still in the philippines back then so i enrolled in this um, class and actually it was just one-on-one, -on -one, just the teacher and I, of course, I, I paid the fee for that. And uh, she helped me a lot in organizing uh, my answers and how to organize my answer. And one thing that I can still remember until now, and it was like, oh my gosh, maybe more than 20 years ago, is that uh, you have to have a format when you answer. So for example, this is what I mean. For example, 
um, the question is what are the advantages and disadvantages of electric cars okay so when you answer you should have like the introduction the body of your answer and the conclusion so that makes it clean okay okay so for example i'm going to answer the question what are the advantages and disadvantages of owning electric cars okay so you will have an uh, introduction you have the body and then you have the conclusion okay there are advantages and disadvantages of owning electric cars the advantages are it is energy efficient secondly it reduces emissions finally it requires lower maintenance on the other hand the disadvantages are it cannot travel too far because of limited battery life second charging takes longer than gassing up finally it is more expensive than regular cars as for my opinion these are the factors that buyers need to consider in purchasing electric cars okay so the last tip is that practice 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 so you really have to practice every single day as much as you can so that you will be uh, sharp in talking in English and speaking in English uh, in formulating your answer in English you have to remember it all starts here so you listen to the question you formulate your answer you have to be clear in presenting your answer okay you have to minimize the ah uh, mm, uh, I think you know what I mean is um, you know so you have to reduce that part so that you're not wasting your time and you will be able to uh, express your confidence while you're talking so I have compiled uh, the links are down below of the free uh, TOEFL websites a practice that you can do and practice with in preparation for TOEFL okay now if for example with all these tips that I have given to you you're still not confident or you already took TOEFL many times and you still failed uh, my suggestion is that you enroll on a paid program okay <clears throat> right now there are many programs online back then when I was applying it's more on a in-person tutorial okay so right now you have uh, TOEFL uh, on its own on the website have program a paid program where you can enroll okay there are books for TOEFL as well okay and CD but there are many TOEFL program preparation program that you can enroll in order for you to ensure that you will pass the next time you take TOEFL so remember TOEFL is not cheap okay depending on where you are in the world it can range between $180 to $325 depending on where, where you're taking your uh, TOEFL test, okay? And each time that you fail the TOEFL, uh, you are delaying your application. You are delaying your ability to practice here in the U.S. So meaning you're delaying your uh, chance to earn very minimum maybe 40 50 60 thousand us dollars per year as a starter okay and that translates to millions of pesos or millions of rupees in your country okay okay guys so i hope this is helpful for you again i'm not a TOEFL expert this is just based on my uh experience as a TOEFL test taker and uh someone who failed the TOEFL and someone who went through the program to pass the TOEFL okay so again uh, this is just tips for you in order for you to be successful on your next TOEFL test or your first TOEFL okay. test so if you need help to fast forward your US application the step-by-step -step procedure in order for you to avoid the mistakes that will cost you thousands of dollars that will cause you delays and frustrations, anxiety and depression because of wrong decision and you're trying to figure it out on your own, okay? Or you've been trying to figure it out and ha has not come to any outcome, good outcome yet. Turbo Charge USPT Masterclass is now available online, on demand. Anywhere you are in the world, you can watch it. And there are so many good reviews about 
uh, this master class that I did okay it's online and uh, you can you read the reviews of people uh, who took actually took the master class program okay so if your question is how do I prepare to document USPT style so I also have a master class it is called dynamic documentation USPT if you want to really be prepared mentally psychologically professionally on how to do physical therapy evaluation I have given so much value in this class that can help you uh, give excellent care to your patient at the same time protect your hard-earned USPT license okay so this will be a good foundation for those who are uh, fresh graduate who are just beginning in their processing and who wants to really be prepared and be a competent therapist when they arrive and start their practice here in the US all the links are down below okay so thank you so much guys for watching if you have any suggestion comment just Put your comments down below share this video to anyone you know who will benefit from it so we can help as many foreign educated therapists as we can uh, around the world thank you so much guys guys for watching and until the next video stay blessed